we're going to a different economy, and we're going to be learning more about that uh, as we go. But clearly, we're, we're, we're learning that things can be done uh, from remote, remote locations. We're learning that technology can replace people even more than we thought. We're not going back to the same economy. We're going. We're recovering, but to a different economy, and it'll be one that is more leveraged to technology. And I worry that that is going to make it even more difficult than it was for for many workers. In Silicon Valley, and my friends who work in technology know that what we did to the manufacturing workers, we are now going to do to the retail workers, the call center workers, the fast food workers, the truck drivers, and then even bookkeepers, accountants, uh, insurance agents, lawyers, and on and on through the economy. So what happened to the manufacturing workers is a very clear sign. This effort, and China has big plans for this. They intend to seed um, their digital yuan into the global environment by giving it away to visitors at next winter's Olympics. When they arrive at the airport, they're going to get di yuan digital wallets. They're going to receive digital yuan. They're going to use it uh, throughout their visits to Beijing, and then they're going to take it back to their home countries. They see this as a huge advantage. Why? Because who controls the underlying protocols, who un controls the underlying standards of the future of money will control the future of money. Welcome to the Crypto Teacher. And guys, please like and subscribe. If you do like what you're listening to, please inform your friends and family and spread all over social media. It is imperative that we get back to learning finances and understand how the world really works. Because once we understand how the world really works, we understand that it is all planned out. Now, I want to thank those who purchased the books, Crypto Teacher and the New World Order Book. The New World Order Book is going to show you how the world works. It is definitely time to wake up out of your sleep in the times that we're in right now. Plus, guys, we know we're waiting on that next main event towards the end of the year. We had the first quarter event. Like I told you, that would happen. Don't forget this is Shemitah year. And then also, I want to thank those who purchased the three kids' books. It's definitely time to re-educate. And also, those who donate to the Cash Shop Patreon, much love, keep it coming. Do not forget I have the New World Order cryptos in my Patreon. Do your own research, but going inside of a bear market, you definitely want the cryptos that have real use cases. And much love to those who are shopping at both stores, keep it coming. And of course, guys, we get into Bitcoin and cryptos first. Now, we have Bitcoin and cryptos moved down yesterday, slightly moving up as I'm doing this video. We have the stock market up, but we also see them pushing down yields. Now, we have Bitcoin open interest at highs with no volatility. And that means one thing. We're either going to dump hard at the end of the month or we're going to be pumping hard. And I see us dumping hard at the end of the month. Now, we have Google now showing Ethereum wallet balances. Now, Bitcoin is not yet available, but we know it's probably coming soon. Now, guys, don't forget to pay attention to the actual indicators. We have yield rates, like I stated. They're pushing them down. That's what's giving the stock market relief. And then also, it's going to be giving us a little bit of relief. And then, of course, we have volume tether USDC. And then, of course, guys, we have the Fed. Repo still over two trillion. We're going to be getting inflation numbers in. We know inflation is coming down, but it's still high. So we know what the Fed is going to tell us. They're going to keep putting their foot on the gas, and we know it's destroying the economy. Corporation now the corporation is coming out saying they're going to be doing layoffs. And then on top of it, guys, we know that wages went up plus actual 15% tax on corporations going to affect next year so we know that stocks and cryptos are going to take another beating and that's why i tell you this is a period of time where you want to trade because you will get a better entry point when it comes to investing and investing is looking 5 10 15 years out i'm not your financial advice not financial advice please do your own research but today guys we're going to get the fmoc minutes and then tomorrow, we get the CPI numbers. And like I stated, most likely it's going to say inflation is coming down a little. And we know the media is going to pump that up. And then also, guys, that'll help stocks and cryptos. We know how the media is going to do. But the Fed will be raising rates on November 2nd. And that's why I see us pulling back at the end of the month. And towards the beginning of November, 
And then, of course, we'll get some relief to pump and dump. And then we'll go through the same thing in December because they'll be raising rates again. But we know midterms will be over. They're going to be pushing the Hegelian dialectic. We know we have plenty of narratives that the NWO can pull from. There is so many distractions. We know they're going to distract the masses until they get this fourth industrial revolution built where the robots, algorithms, and drones take over the economy, pay each other with crypto, and the sheep go inside the metaverse. And I'll be going over that on my second video on this channel and on the stock channel, guys, because there's a lot of crazy things going on right now, and I'm going to do a special Patreon video also. We know the movie just keeps getting better and better. And then also, guys, the first quarter of each year, we always get a big pullback. And like I stated, with the 15% tax on corporations, 2023 and 2024 will be the worst times ever in American history. And remember the crypto teacher told you. Remember they have to destroy this legacy market in order to bring in the fourth industrial revolution. And then on top of it, guys, this is global. And the globe relies on the dollar. That's the reason why it has to be destroyed as the world reserve currency. And then, of course, we'll have the rise of China, the digital yuan, backed by the digital SDR. And then, of course, the Belt and Road along with the machines. Now, guys, don't forget about Grayscale. Move down to about $16.6 .6 billion. Of course, the movie again continues. We have Grayscale with the lawsuit with the SEC. And as the Ripple and SCC case is going to wind down, and then, of course, now we're going to have Grayscale. And then also, we have the SEC rejects Wisdom Tree's Bitcoin spot ETF. We knew they were going to reject it if they were rejecting Grayscale's ETF. Now, getting over into a little crypto news, we have JP Morgan and Visa team up on cross-border blockchain payments. And guys, we know JP Morgan and the Federal Reserve 2.0 on blockchain was definitely coming. I've done plenty of videos telling you what was going to happen. Now, JP Morgan's link is a network specifically designed for cross-border transfers and is offered under the bank's blockchain and payments initiative Onyx. And Visa's Business to Business Connect is a similar network to Link that was built for institutional grade use and has now been integrated with Onyx's Confirm. And we know Zcash developers and, of course, Consensus has been working with J.P. Morgan for a long time. And, guys, the Fed and the big banks and big corporations are not going to give up power. You have to take it. And these smaller companies like Ripple and XLM are not going to be involved in these trillions and trillions of dollars because these are private transactions. They don't want you to know about it, but they will take the technology. And that's why I stated XRP and XLM will be for the smaller banks and the consumers. We know the banks are the biggest what? I'm going to let you finish that. Do you really think they want you to see those transactions? Or do you really think those transactions are going to stop because we're moving over to blockchain and crypto? No, they're still going to be doing the same activities just on a higher scale. But they definitely are not going to let you see those transactions. And Jamie Dimon has stated the big banks are already moving trillions of dollars digitally. So guys, this will let you know that this system is not going anywhere. SWIFT is not going anywhere. And this is supposed to be effective next year in 30 countries. Now, we have blockchain.com gets approved by the Singapore Central Bank. And we see all these big exchanges getting approved in Singapore. Now, we have Valkyrie Fund to liquidate Bitcoin-related ETF by late October, the Balance Sheet Opportunities ETF. And we're going to see a lot of these gambling casino products that they built around crypto disappear as we go into next year. And why is that, guys? Because the Fed is shrinking liquidity. No more does free money to throw around. That's the reason why we stop seeing a lot of SPACs, stop seeing a lot of IPOs, because the Fed is shrinking. And lastly, we have Morgan Stanley says crypto ecosystem is becoming less decentralized. And guys, we know they're speaking to the choir because we know from the beginning 
these big banks, especially Morgan Stanley, who funded Michael Saylor and his great acting role. These big banks and big corporations have been funding crypto from the beginning. Because anytime if you have a project, you're trying to get funding, who do you have to go to? The bank. And unfortunately, these developers, these creators are not conscious. They're happy they're getting the funding, but the devil is in the details. And by the time they look around, these banks, these corporations have a piece of their company. They have a person on their board. And then next thing you know, they're taking it over. Guys, we've seen this movie before. And remember the crypto teacher told you, because he knows when it comes to the new world order, it's all planned out. But that's all I have for you. Don't forget about the books, Crypto Teacher and the New World Order book, plus the three kids' books. It's time to re-educate. Also, if you're new to cryptos, Coinbase, BitChu, Binance, and I forget book links and crypto links are in the description. The Stock Channel, guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, spread everywhere. You have your Kobo, your chip stocks, your banking, your gaming, while everybody's sitting at home, get on stocks, the Seabird, the Biotech stocks, and while everybody's at home wishing, they were still getting that free money. What are they doing? Drinking and smoking weed. Don't forget about those stocks and you have a wonderful day. Most powerful person in the world is the storyteller. The storyteller sets the vision, values, and agenda of an entire generation to come. Steve Jobs. And guys, you know I truly believe in this. When you look at the New World Order, they're the storytellers. And that's the reason why I wrote my New World Order book. But guys, now it's time to change the current generation. And I wrote three kids' books. You know, I love the Trinity because I understand the power that's in it. So I have three books. We have an opportunity to change the generation, to educate, not just me, but I want to show you that I take action on a daily basis. And I want you to take action on a daily basis, whether it's your job, whether it's in your community. We have an opportunity right now to educate the masses. I posted this on my Twitter account. Please share. But this is a short clip of the three books. There's going to be a clothing line and action figure. Please get these books for your kids, nephews, cousins, friends. So therefore, we can start the re-education now. Because as we see, the fourth industrial revolution foundation is definitely here. Robots, algorithms, drones, taking humanity out the picture. We have to re-educate. But let's get into the video. Part 1. King Joshua and Grandma Tim. Save the village. Part 2. King Joshua and Grandma Tim. Save New York. Long COVID-33. Part 3. King Joshua and Grandma Tim. Goes to China. It's mandatory to get part one, part two, and part three of this series. It's time to re-educate Generation Z.